My name is Robin Lee. Welcome to Buzz on the Bluffs, Vicksburg, Mississippi's Community Insight Program. We'll be taking a look at people, places, and events that impact our community. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for joining us today on Buzz on the Bluffs, and welcome back, Judge Cheney. Glad to be here. I've learned all kinds of things from you. Well, I hope it hasn't been too boring. No, it's been really interesting, actually. You know, it's just like something I don't know anything about. I, I imagine most of the people that are watching don't either, so it's really interesting. Good. So, okay, the last show we talked about the um, criminal justice, the criminal court justice, I, you know, I can't get that right. House Bill 585. House Bill 585, and what that meant, and today we're going to talk a little bit about um, some different options options for sentencing, which right. specifically is for veterans. So tell me a little bit about that. Right. Well, the, the legislation did a few things. It uh, opened up the possibility for house arrest for a few more crimes, opened up the possibility of drug court for some, some areas, some sentences that were not uh, before. But the really interesting thing to me is for the first time, the legislature authorized veterans courts, uh, veterans treatment courts. And so uh, that's something I'm really excited about. Now, they didn't authorize any money, yeah. and they didn't come up with the guidelines or requirements, but they authorized implementation. And so uh, Judge Patrick is the other circuit court judge, and he and I are both in favor of trying to explore that possibility mm -hmm. as the wars uh, in Afghanistan and Iraq are hopefully winding down. We've got uh, men and women who've been over there serving that are coming back, and they've been exposed to all sorts of horrors that it's hard for us to imagine and sometimes that uh, causes them to have more run-ins with the law enforcement than mm -hmm. perhaps uh, uh, the general population. And so uh, the idea is that a veterans court would be something sort of like a drug court. Uh, in fact, there may be some overlapping. If a veteran is having problems with substance abuse, then the regular drug court might take care of them. But they uh, PTSD and uh, uh, reactions from the stress and the explosions sometimes can cause other sorts of problems in running with law enforcement. And so a veterans treatment court could let those people, those um, uh, former service uh, men and women to uh, come to the court. Uh, we could require that they take their medication if they've had medication issues. We can require that they uh, get some sort of treatment if that's needed. We can require them to come back to court uh, you know, once a week or once a month. Uh, and then the big thing is we can uh, try to pair them up with mentors who would themselves be veterans. Mm -hmm. uh, I've talked with um, Dan Fordyce who does the uh, Warrior Bonfire Project. Right. And he says when he's meeting and getting together with uh, vets that he's told that they would rather spend time sitting around a bonfire with a guy who knows, with a guy who's been there, with a gal who's been there, uh, and they, they have trouble talking to their family about their experiences. They have trouble talking to their um, uh, counselors, even though they've got the degrees and the certificate on the wall, and that it means so much for them to be able to just talk with and have somebody to talk to. And the veterans courts models that I have looked at, uh, one of the strong components is to have a veteran paired up with a veterans court uh, participant. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm excited about that possibility. So some of the things that uh, Judge Patrick and I are doing right now is we are, we have contacted and we will continue to contact some veterans groups to see if they are, have people who would volunteer to be mentors to receive the tra training that they would need to be uh, mentors. Uh, we have contacted uh, Sheriff Martin Pace and Chief Armstrong to see if the law enforcement can help us identify how many veterans we're talking about. Now, if we don't have enough, it's, you know, it, it would be silly to go forward right. with it. But we need to get the information. And so we're gonna try to get the information. We know how many we have in drug court right now. It's uh, three. Uh, but uh, how many others that there might be. And if we, if we so can you have three in drug court, they're also veterans. Right. Okay. Right. Right. Uh, and then that opens up some doors for uh, a treatment. You know, the, the, the VA uh, has treatment options that are available for veterans that are not available for, for others. And so we're, we're, we're trying to identify how many there are. I've talked with uh, Dan Fordyce with the uh, Wound Warrior Bonfire Project. I've talked to the American Legion. We've talked to the sheriff, or I've sent out a letter actually just this week to uh, Sheriff Pace and to Chief Armstrong. 
And then we're going to uh, see if we can apply maybe for some grant money, some seed money to maybe get it started, uh, even prior to the legislature authorizing the funds. Mm -hmm. don't know if we're going to be able to do that or not. I have uh, found out that there are, uh, is some free training available. Now, it's already taken up for this year, but there's some paperwork we've got to wade through uh, to get on the waiting list, and so we're going to do that. But I, I'm excited of that, of that possibility just because uh, the times we're living in and because we've had such um, you know, these, these wars that have been going on, and now as they're winding down, you know, the, the, those, those people have, have, have tough times. And, and if we can keep somebody out of right. the incarceration yeah. and get treatment sure. and where they can then uh, be productive citizens again, right. uh, and they want to be. Well, know. they're people that have served our country and sacrificed and their families have sacrificed. Yeah. So, so that, I think, I hope that uh, everyone's going to be hearing more and more about the possibility yeah. of Veterans Court. I hope that the community will kind of come together and then if, if, if we can help it make sense. If yeah. we've got enough and we can use a lot of the same infrastructure, I think, for drug court. Mm -hmm. We've got the judges. That's not going to cost anything. We've got the drug court building. We've got some testing machines as far as the, uh, the drug uh, detection equipment. Well, once y'all get that up and running, come back and talk to us about I'll it. I'll be excited to. Okay. Thank and you so much. I did want to mention that for, for those people that didn't see your first interview about drug court, they might be interested to go back and watch it now. I've posted that on your reelect Judge Jim Cheney Facebook page, and it's also posted on the Buzz on the Bluffs Facebook page. Great. So if, if anybody is interested in what you're talking about and they didn't see that first interview, they can go back and reference that. Sounds great. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Enjoyed it.